Uh, not a surprise to me, given what we knew was going on over at the school board. Um, I think it raises questions, and uh, I think the school board has a really you know, heavy lift in front of them. T tell me about the questions. What are the questions that you have? Well, I mean, I always felt that, you know, I, I wouldn't count myself as somebody who agreed with everything he did, and I get to say I'm fairly, he was fairly critical of some of the directions of the school system, but the superintendent was pretty much carrying out the direction of the board. So I always felt that some of the criticism, particularly around the achievement gap, um, was misdirected because, the, you know, as a former teacher, you know, a lot of us feel that in the classroom, the classroom got fundamentally changed in not a very good way by having this teach to the test curriculum that was installed prior to when Starr got here. And because that was left in, in place and the board never directed him to make fundamental changes, the results are kind of the results of what the board put in place with the help of the previous superintendent. So, I mean, I think those are real challenges, you know, how we actually close the achievement gap and being able to give the superintendent enough latitude to make changes um, to something that people for a long time said was working perfectly fine.